If vegetables are good for you, why do they taste bad? Our early ancestors lived day-to-day -day lives, hoping to survive long enough to raise a few healthy offspring. Not much longer. Only the luckiest made it through starvation, accidents, injury, and fights to die of the causes that we today call natural. With that lifestyle, what was important was finding the most fuel possible, and that fuel came in the form of fats and proteins from animals and sugars from plants. So the tastes that we love are those tastes. Fatty, sweet, meaty, etc. Now, we have access to all of the food that we could ever want, but our brains are still programmed to want those high-energy foods whenever we can get them. Which now is all the time. Lower-energy foods, like vegetables, are good for us because they give us nutrients that we would have no problem getting with the sort of fruit and game diet of our ancestors. And they are also a lower-calorie option, something that no sane early hominid would intentionally choose when there were higher-energy options available and potential starvation not far down the road.